Hello friends, welcome to this lecture. Myself, Amlan Das. Today, I will discuss about molecular spectra. The spectra of light emitted from gas discharge tube is generally found to consist of a number of discrete spectral lines. This type of spectrum is known as line spectrum. Their origin can be adequately explained with the help of bohr sommerfeld model. But there are another kind of spectrum. In some special cases, the spectrum of light emitted from discharge tube has the appearance of a band of light instead of discrete lines and it has origin in the molecules of different elements or compounds. This type of spectrum is known as molecular spectrum or band spectrum. Okay. Now molecular spectrum may be divided into three classes. First is pure rotational spectrum, second is rotational vibrational spectrum and third is electronic spectrum. Now what is pure rotational spectrum? The transition between rotational energy states of a molecule with the emission or absorption of a photon gives rise to the pure rotational spectrum. Now pure rotational spectrum lies in the far infrared region. Okay. Now here wavelength range is about 150 micrometer to 30 micrometer. Okay. Now what is rotational vibrational spectrum? The transition between vibrational energy states of a molecule with the emission or absorption of a photon when electronic configuration of the atom remains constant gives rise to the rotational vibrational spectrum. Now rotational vibrational spectrum lies in the near infrared region. Here wavelength range is about 5 micrometer to 1 micrometer. Okay. And third is electronic spectrum. Now what is electronic spectrum? The transition between two electronic energy states of an atom in a molecule with the emission or absorption of a photon gives rise to the electronic spectrum. Now electronic spectrum lies in the visible or ultraviolet region. Here wavelength range is about 1000 angstrom to 7000 angstrom. Okay. Now we discuss about origin of molecular spectra or band spectra. That is why molecules show band spectrum. Okay. Now total we know that total energy of a molecule in the excited state is given by E equals to E E plus E V plus E R. Okay. Where E E is the excitation energy of an electron in a molecule. E V is the energy due to vibration of the molecule and E R is the energy due to rotation of the molecule. Okay. Now the electronic energy level in a molecule are separated by the energy interval of the order of 1 electron volt to 10 electron volt. Now each electronic energy level may have a number of vibrational energy level which are separated by the energy interval of the order of 0.1 electron volt. And each vibrational energy level may have a number of 
rotational energy level which are separated by the energy interval of the order of 10 to the power minus 3 electron volt. Thus, each electronic energy level in reality consists of a large number of levels closely spaced together. The transition between different electronic energy level, each of which is a band of a number of levels, gives rise to the molecular spectra or band spectra. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.